As one of the most popular tourist destinations in BC, its closure is already being felt in the small town of Squamish. We're all such a tight community that it's impossible for me to think that someone would intentionally do that. So my mind's blown to for people to try and harm someone in that way. It yeah, it's disgusting. Local restaurants are filled with tourists like the Penners from Saskatchewan. And we came to Squamish to Take a gond gondola ride. <laughs> it was our plan to come today. To yeah. today. Yeah. Thousands of people would ride the cable cars every day to take in the stunning views. Uh, just It's a major tourist attraction for Squamish. Uh, it's well known. Um, all the cruise ship business people typically come here. Um, just regular locals go up there with their season's passes and people from Vancouver drive up just for a nice scenic day to go up the top of the mountain. He worries it's not just the gondola's business that's going to be affected. It's going to have a full trickle down effect. It could take months to fix, and even then, things might not be the same. I think people are going to be afraid of the gondola in the future. Like, I think you'll be kind of cautious about what happened. It has shocked everyone that police say the cable was deliberately cut. You protect what you love, and the gondola offers people an opportunity to get up there and really see the beauty of this place. Um, so it's just incomprehensible that someone would want to purposely... Um, take down that operation. More than 200 local people have been left at least temporarily without jobs. An expansion project had been underway. There's a restaurant up top where weddings are held weekly. And then there's all the employees who staff the gondola itself. Squamish clearly offers so much more and there's lots to see and do here. It's a nice place. And that is what the people of Squamish are hoping tourists remember. Deborah Goble, CBC News, Squamish.